To create an assignment that's been submitted through NECA, first navigate to the course site where the assignment has been submitted to, and then navigate to the Assignments tool, which is located in the navigation bar on the left side. In my course site, you'll see that I have an Assignments and Assignment 2 tool. Uh, you'll click on the Assignment tool based on which tool you have available in your course site. For the sake of this video, we'll be using the Assignments tool, not Assignment 2. Once you've entered the assignment tool, uh, find the assignment that you want to grade, and then below the uh, name of the assignment, you'll see a link that says Grade. Click on that link, and you'll see all of these submissions that have been um, sent in from the students in your course. Uh, you'll see the student name, as well as the date and time stamp that it was submitted, whether or not the uh, assignment has been graded, and whether you used Turnitin for this particular assignment. If you have used Turnitin for this assignment, you'll see the originality report icon show up in this column. Find the student whose assignment you wish to grade and click on the grade link under their name. When the page loads, you'll be able to see uh, several pieces of information, including the date and time that the, the assignment was submitted, and then further down you can see the attachments that the uh, student had uploaded with their submission. You can click on the link for the file name to download it and view it. You can then add uh, comments that go to the student in this box. You can also submit or send an attachment back to the student. So if the student submitted something in Microsoft Word and used track changes to uh, make specific notations, you can upload that, that newly saved document to, this, uh, to the student. You can enter a grade in the grade box. And if you have the grades sent automatically to, uh, to the NECA gradebook, it will do that when you click the Save button. If you decide, you can also have the student uh, provide a resubmission uh, by clicking on the checkbox and then choosing how many resubmissions uh, they have and when you'll accept the resubmissions until. Once you have finished you can click the save and release to student if you want the student to be able to see their grades and comments or save and don't release to student. Um, that allows you to save the grade in the system but the student won't have access to it until you specify at a later time. For this instance, I'm going to say save and release to student. And you'll get a confirmation at the top saying comments and or grade have been saved. You can then use the navigation uh, uh, buttons on the right hand side to move to the next student in the list. Or click on the return to list to return to the, um, the entire list of students in your class. You can see that there is now a check box or a check mark in the column that says release, indicating that this student can see their grades when they access either the assignments tool or the gradebook if you have it set up to push their grade to the gradebook. You can also see that under the status, the it has changed from ungraded to returned, meaning you have returned that assignment to the student because you're finished with it. Also, their grade now appears in the grade box if you have entered a grade for that assignment.